What is it guys, SerenityServers.net here. Today I'm going to show you how we create a workshop collection and use it for your server. The first thing we're going to do is get our API key. You can get that by signing in here. It's going to go to the Steam website, just to sign in with your Steam credentials here. If you have Steam God enabled, it's going to ask for that code, by the way. And I was going to ask for a domain name here. You can enter in anything. I'm just going to put in my own website. If you don't have a website, just use a random domain name. It doesn't really matter. Click the register button. Now we have our API key. And now it's time to actually create our collection. Um, go to the community um, workshop here. And just um, locate the Gary's Mod workshop by searching for it. When Steam loads here. All right. Just uh, search for Gary's Mod. Yes, I do want... Once the workshop has loaded, it's time to find the add-ons you want added to your server. You can just uh, subscribe to these by clicking this little plus sign here. And that is going to add it to your um, your own game. And that way you can use it for your collection. Now click at the collections um, button there. Click the create a collection. Now it's time to give it a title. Uh, Dark RP. Actually, no, let's make a sandbox. Sandbox server. And you need to select a branding image. I'm just going to take my branding image there. It needs to be at least uh, 195x195. Uh, describe it a little bit. Sandbox server files. Give it some tags. It's fun. It's build server content. And it's fine. Save and continue. And now it's time to actually um, add in the add ons we want on our server. So click on subscribe items. These are all the add ons you subscribed to before. So let's scroll down and find um, some TDM cars down here. Here we go. Audi, base pack, BMW. Now, it always takes about 20 seconds from when you actually press the button. So just uh, give it some time. Now we have these add-ons added. Of course, if, you, if this was your server, you would add more. Uh, save and continue. And now it's the very important part. You need to click this publish button. Otherwise, it will not work. Once that is finished, it's time to find our collection ID. Click the share button here. And the ID is the one at the end here, just all these numbers. Copy that. Head over to TC Admin. Click on the command line manager. And custom new. Now, if this was a local hosted server, you would um, put this into your... Um, uh, the shortcut for starting up the server. I'm going to show that in a minute. All right, so for TZ Admin, you want to tick this uh, collection ID, the auth key, the game mode, the startup map, and the server GFG. Just put in the collection ID you just copied, head over back to Steam, copy over the API key, and then put that into the auth key here. Um, give this a name, um, sandbox2. Click the save button. All right, now we need to click the select button here. That's going to take it into play. Go back to your server, click the start button. And then open up the web console. Now, the only problem with the Steam Workshop is that there is a limit of um, 64 megabyte. So if an add-on is more than 64 megabyte, it needs to be uploaded manually. And I know for a fact that this Audi add-on here is actually larger than 64 megabyte, so you will see it fail right there. And how you how you fix that is pretty easy. Uh, what you need to do is go to your own Gary's Mod folder here, click on the add-ons, and oh, sorry, that was the wrong one. Go back to your Steam folder here. Go to Steam Apps Common, and then go to Gary's Mod, Gary's Mod add-ons and in here are all the add-ons that you have subscribed to in the workshop so just uh, scroll down and find the ones that failed in this case you see the um, the bmw and the audi has failed so what we need to do is find the bmw and the audi these ones we will copy to our desktop Right, so how you fix this is you take the add-ons from your local um, your local client and then you rename them to be ds underscore the add-on ID. Just like that, it's ds 
underscore add-on ID. And now we need to upload them to our server. So install file Scylla and open it up. Go back to your control panel and then locate your server's IP address. Put that into the host. Your username is the same as it is on TZ Admin. And the password is also the same as on TZ Admin. The port can be left blank. All right, now it's connected. Open up Gary's Mod, add-ons. And in here are all our add-ons. Let's just stop it for a sec here. Now it's time to actually upload these. Just drag and drop into the add-ons folder. It's going to upload there. All right, once it's uploaded, just go back, start it again. And then once more, open up the web console. And it should get your, oh, as you can see right here, it loaded them all successfully this time. That means they are now on your server and should be working uh, like expected. Um, and that is pretty much it for the TC admin version. Now it's time to um, to do the one that is hosted locally. And as you all know, when you host a server locally, it requires a startup shortcut. And you get this shortcut. And in here, you want to put a plus host um, workshop collection, and then the ID, and then of course the auth key. And you would just you know use the same auth key as you did before. Just put that in. And the same for your um, for your workshop ID. Just put that in. Save it. Oh, sorry. Uh, select. I did open that, didn't I? I did. And then just replace that. Apply. OK. And next time I start it up, you will see exactly the same as you did in here. That is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.